Folks, Kyle from Book Makers Review, week six, almost in the books, one more game to go, so it's not too early to start looking ahead to week seven. We've got a matchup next week between two teams where there's a lot of questions at quarterback. We've got the Steelers going on the road to face the Dolphins. Right now, that line has opened up with the Dolphins as seven-point favorites. Look, that's a little bit tough. It is tough to play in South Beach around this time. It can be hot and muggy. We saw the Steelers upset the Buccaneers yesterday. Despite having a secondary that cannot stop the passing game, we saw the Dolphins, of course, fall to the Vikings. That defense is also struggling. So you've got two struggling defenses. You've got a total of 44. But the problem is you saw Kenny Pickett leave the game for the Steelers. Mitchell Trubisky came in to clean up. We still don't know the status of Tua. Of course, Skylar Thompson then gets hurt yesterday. So Teddy Bridgewater comes in fresh off of concussion protocol. So a lot of questions at quarterback. So it's tough to pick this game early in the week. If you take it in a vacuum, if we get Tua back, and the Dolphins have their full complement of offensive weapons, that total could be in danger. I think the maybe early in the week I'm leaning the over 44, but it's really tough. Am I laying seven points with the Dolphins right now? No way. I'm just not laying seven against a team for a team that can't stop the run. If you can't stop the run, I'm not laying points. It's hard to trust a team that allows teams to run up the middle the way the Dolphins do, and that secondary has not been very good outside of Xavier and Howard. Not a lot of talent back there. And we saw yesterday the Vikings got off to a slow start, but once they got going, that offense was tough to stop. They hit that team total over 23 and a half. So right now I'll lean the over 44, but again, we got to keep an eye on that injury report and keep an eye on that quarterback situation. Don't forget, if it's winning picks you want, we got you covered right here at Book Makers Review. Have a great week, and of course, good luck on all your future wagers.